Hello friends you're all welcome to my channel today we gonna talk about how to stop and treat penile yeast infections permanently and symptoms of penile yeast infections but before that hit the subscribe button and then your notification bell so you'll get notified when I post a new video so what is a penile yeast infection? A yeast infection is often thought of as a female health problem, but it can affect anyone, including men. A penile yeast infection, if not treated, can lead to a wide range of painful, uncomfortable, and potentially embarrassing symptoms. It can also lead to serious complications if the infection spreads into your bloodstream. Over-the-counter OTC medications can often clear up a yeast infection, and some basic prevention steps can help you avoid this fairly common condition. What are the symptoms of a penile yeast infection? Early symptoms of a penile yeast infection often include a red rash and sometimes white, shiny patches on the penis. The skin on the penis may be moist, and a thick white substance may be found under the foreskin or other folds of skin. You may also experience itching and a burning feeling on your penis. Redness, itchiness, and pain in the penis can be signs of other more serious conditions, including some sexually transmitted diseases STDs, so don't ignore symptoms once they appear. A urologist or your primary care doctor can diagnose the condition, often in a single appointment. What are the risk factors for a penile yeast infection? Aside from sex with a partner who has a yeast infection, several other risk factors can increase your odds of developing a penile yeast infection. Being uncircumcised is a major risk factor, as the area under the foreskin can be a breeding ground for candida. If you don't bathe regularly or properly clean your genitals. If you can't get in to see your doctor or a urologist, consider a visit to an urgent care center or even the emergency room. The earlier the problem is diagnosed and treatment begins, the more likely it is you can avoid complications. If you don't already have a urologist, the Healthline Find Care tool can help you find a physician in your area. Don't diagnose and start treatment on your own. If symptoms of a yeast infection are present, see a doctor. How do you treat a penile yeast infection? In most cases, Topical antifungal ointments and creams are enough to clear up an infection. Many of the antifungal creams. Most of these are available as OTC medications, meaning you will not need a prescription. More serious, or longer term infections may require a prescription strength medication. Oral fluconazole, diflucan, and a hydrocortisone cream may be advised in serious infections such as those that have developed into a potentially serious condition called balanitis. Sometimes yeast infections return after they appear to be cured. If this occurs, your doctor will likely recommend weekly treatments for several months following a couple weeks of daily treatment. Most antifungal creams are well tolerated. You're not likely to have any serious side effects. Check the label, however and ask your doctor and pharmacist what to look out for in case you have a bad reaction. If your infection doesn't respond well to an antifungal ointment and you are uncircumcised, you may be advised to have a circumcision. Though this surgical procedure is typically done on infants, it can be done safely on a man of any age. Along with using the medicated cream, you should also practice good hygiene to help clear up any lingering infection. Factors such as diabetes and a suppressed immune system may contribute to your yeast infection risk. If you have diabetes, work with your healthcare providers to make sure your blood sugar levels are well controlled. If you have a suppressed immune system, your doctor can recommend ways to help keep your immune system as healthy as possible. Candidiasis. This is most common in men who wait to receive treatment until the infection has spread beyond the penis. It is also more common in men with weakened immune systems. If you've been in a hospital and used a catheter to urinate, you may be more likely to face invasive candidiasis. This advanced form of a yeast infection is very serious. Oral antifungal medications may be needed for several weeks. In some cases, the drugs are administered intravenously. How long does a penile yeast infection last? If your infection is treated early and responds well to antifungal medication, it can clear up within a week. If you are sexually active, your partner should also be treated for a yeast infection to avoid reinfection. 
your partner should be treated regardless of whether or not the infection was spread from them to you. If you get recurrent yeast infections and you can rule out causes such as hygiene and sexual contact, talk with your doctor about other possible causes. You may have an underlying health condition, such as diabetes. Men are generally much less likely than women to develop a yeast infection, but it's important to know how such an infection can develop and how to recognize the usual symptoms. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe.